Hi, I'm John, Product Manager for Nuke at The Foundry. I'm here to talk to you about our next big release, Nuke 8, coming soon. So there's a lot of different things in this release. I think a little bit of something for everyone. So whether you're doing commercials or film, or you're new to Nuke, or you're a developer, or a pipeline TD, there's a little nugget of something for all of you guys. The new dope sheet in Nuke 8 gives you the ability to see all your keys in context and procedurally move those keys around in time and see them exactly where they're going to be inside the dope sheet. So anyone doing animation or having to move elements around in time, this is really going to make it easy and intuitive for you guys. We have a new text tool in Nuke 8 allowing you to edit directly inside the viewer, individually kern and resize uh, characters and even do per character animation. So it's really great for anyone doing titling or legals uh, inside Nuke. Enhancing our grading and color correction tools has been a big focus for Nuke 8. This ranges from updates to the UI, so in panel color wheels to new panels for analyzing pixels, uh, vector scopes, histograms, uh, waveform displays, lots of updates to analyze the picture. In addition to those sort of updates, we've got a brand new color matching tool as well. And this is an update to our existing furnace tool, but it allows us to give us, uh, make a stable LUT by analyzing two sets of images and giving us a LUT that goes from one image to the other. So saving you having to create or do a manual grade to match two different plates. 3D has always been a big focus of Nuke and it's always set us apart from other tools. And in this release, uh, it's no different. We've got lots of great things in there. For instance, we have a wireframe shader, so great for being able to line up elements or do breakdowns. We have a viewer capture mode. So this allows you to capture the 3D view and save it out to an image sequence or flip book uh, that image sequence. So really great for checking your animations or again, checking things that are attached properly. We also have a way of editing geometry directly inside Nuke procedurally. So it's really great for, say, doing a projection. You've got your model. You've got your thing that you want to project. And it doesn't quite line up there. Now, without having to round trip out to 3D, you can just edit procedurally within Nuke that geometry to get it lining up correctly. For those of you doing environment work, we've got a lot of updates on that side as well. We've got a brand new version of the camera tracker. It's got some new features, such as camera calibration, we call it. And what this means is to be able to solve for multiple still shots that you've made of your set and be able to get the camera tracker to solve all of those stills and give you cameras for all of those. So really great for projections or doing clean plates and, and so on. We have also really updated the workflow inside the camera tracker. So we've integrated uh, set solves, uh, this camera calibrator, and also our projection solver into one unified workflow. We've also updated the model building tool. So the model building tool allows you to build a 3D model directly inside Nuke. In the new model builder, you can actually create UVs as well inside Nuke and edit them in the context of the rest of your comp. There's plenty more in there, but that's all the time I have right now. So keep looking at the website for further information and stay connected.